Fellas, it's time for some more React Mojo. I love it, you love it. I know it's it's dirty pleasure, right? It's it's a guilty pleasure. It's pig slop. Just just react with me, okay? Just watch this with me. It'll be fun. And we're gonna indulge a little bit on this first one with some drama. Uh-oh! Drama stream! Somebody's in trouble! That's right! It's the top 10 times video game streamers got caught cheating! Uh-oh! Woo! 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 They're in trouble! By the way, can you guess who is on the thumbnail? Can you guess who is on the thumbnail? I will give you one guess. If you guess Dream, you, you knew you were right. Yeah, it's Dream. It's Dream. I wonder if he'll be here. We can use him for the thumbnail. That'd be nice. No way. Ooh, what the hell? It's a double spawner too. <laughs> Welcome to what? I've never actually watched the Dream speed run. That sounds fun. Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, am I hidden? <laughs> oh my god. Did that guy type hide in the console command? He, he tried to go ghost? Mobidos is an Argentine streamer who had a clip of him playing Apex Legends shared to the subreddit I mean... Livestream Fails. Ah, the bubble. Well, he was accused of using the cheats called aim lock and no recoil, which, as you well, can probably tell, eliminates gun recoil and locks it doesn't onto look your enemies that for bad. you. Even behind. I mean, that one doesn't look that. That one could have been worse, you know. Of all the things to ban him for, maybe he's just really good at tracking. Yeah, I feel like good players can do that. Justice for Mobidos. Call of Duty actress catches cheaters, icy vixen, and bearded banger. What? Wait, the streamer isn't cheating then. What? Alex Zedra is the voice behind the Warzone character Mara. After getting eliminated in a tournament, Alex decided to host Icy Vixen, which started <laughs> to raise some eyebrows. Can you get Chef? He's a one right here. <laughs> Vixen had impeccable aim, even through walls wow. or mid-flight, and she seemed to share this ability with her teammate and husband, Bearded Banger. Both of Damn, them a power couple! Both of them together? Unstoppable! That's the power of love! That would be so fucking funny. If Mal and I downloaded cheats for Call of Duty and we just swept games. That's a beautiful story! That's incredible! I like that one a lot. No, this one's fine. You should be allowed to cheat if it's funny. Number 8. Developer cheats in their own game. <laughs> Otanil. He's allowed to do that. He's allowed to do that. <laughs> You can't see me? Wait, he's invisible? A lot of the time when someone is caught using hacks in video games... Bro, it's he's kicking people out of the game! Because the perpetrator is intentional. Fortunately, this time, it seemed to be a genuine mistake. Bro, he Otanel made the game. It's a game developer who it's fine. on the Oh my god, am I hidden? He typed hide into the console. Oh my god, dude. You know what? It's his game. He's allowed to do it. Yeah. If I made a game, I would do that shit all the time. That would be so funny. You just fly around like Dr. Manhattan, and everybody's just like, oh, fuck, Coney's here. I just grow myself to 10,000 times as big. That would be so funny. I would absolutely do that. What are they gonna do? Stop playing? Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do? Play something else? My game is too good. You won't stop. He realizes on stream that his dev kit has him hidden in game. Oh, After which man. he corrects. But not before killing that guy. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, he got banned at DreamHack? Dude is at DreamHack and they shut him down. That's However, so sad. However, when he came across his teammate Pixel, he intentionally stopped firing, leaving the both of them to separate and save their face off for later. Of course, they were playing a solo tournament, and Zacubus was streaming it, so the moderators removed I mean... him mid-game once they found out. <laughs> it might have been a joke! It might have been a joke! Maybe you've won, so they just banned you for a joke. Dude, come on. That's stupid. I don't like that one. I feel like you can't... You can't really do anything with that. You can't quantify how much somebody is or isn't hitting somebody, you know? <laughs> Having a joke. I'm just saying, I, I've been in tournaments like that where it's like, you know, they tell you that it's it's everybody for themselves, but like, what are you going to do about it, you know? I was in a Fall Guys tournament with Jesus. I was in Fall Mania, and like, 
I obviously was playing by the rules, but I'm like, you know, me and Deezus are cool. Maybe I just won't grab him or throw him. And I wouldn't have done that, obviously. But it's like, how would you have even known at that point, you know? I'm not a cheater, Copium. Did we, I don't even think we were in the same... Oh, no, it was because one of us could get through and the other one didn't. Deezus did cheat. Don't get me wrong, he did cheat. He, he had a game that he had to play, and he was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and he just left. It was, it was, it was funny, and I'm pretty sure he gave his controller to somebody else during the game, too. So... Fortnite aimbot results in lifetime ban. Lifetime. Phase Jarvis. Forever? Wait, he's, he's FaZe? Jarvis posted a video to his YouTube channel showcasing what it was like using aimbot software in Fortnite. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> Epic Games caught wind of this and came down on the YouTube. Bro, that just looks like pro gamer shots. Ban. He's just, he's a laser, dead on. He broadcasted a censored stream where it appeared he was playing Fortnite again. He was banned midstream, which was followed by a YouTube upload explaining he had faked playing the game, having its friend use the real controller off screen. So they just got his friend banned for no reason? D that's, <laughs> gotcha. What the fuck? What, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I wasn't even playing, bro. It wasn't even me. Okay. What the fuck? Good trick. Good trick. Honestly, now you got two band accounts, you know? Stream sniping. Oh, dude, is this Twitch Rivals? Yeah, it's Wave Punk and Ovaly. These two are great. What did he do? Stream sniping. XQC. Guys, 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 oh, guys, 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 no. Bro, he's talking to Pooh Bear? Oh my god, it's Pooh Bear! <laughs> during the fall, what Felix was doing was stream sniping. So he could tell where his opponent was, predict his movement, and then prevent him from qualifying for the next round. I Other mean... content creators watched this unfold on both their streams, spreading the controversial actions. As a result, Twitch rivals came down on the streamer, banning him from mean... events for six months. It was for charity? Okay, never mind. Never mind. It was for charity. I take that back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. No, the real problem here... I feel like the real problem there is, like, if XQC starts stream sniping Lupo and he starts holding him, you know all of his 12-year-old fans are going to try to steam snipe and get into the game, too, and grab him. Have you guys seen the clip of Forsen trying... To play Fall Guys, it is so fucking funny. This is why you can't show yourself grabbing people because your audience is young and impressionable. Look at what happens to poor Force in here. Oh, which one am I? I don't even know. Ah! How are there this many people? How are there this many people who immediately beeline for him? Jesus Christ, instantly, instantly, everybody goes, yoop, and goes right for him. That's so sad. POV, you're 10 years old. Charity cheating. Nick oh, not a charity. I gotta not for charity, bro. During a match of Fortnite duos, the players were required to land in a four square zone on the map. On uh -huh. stream, you can hear Nick conspiring with his teammate to intentionally land outside the zone. I mean, I mean, if it's charity, you're not even making money. That's not cheating. That's the same as fouling a bad shot shooter and bad. Yeah, like. It's, 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 you know, it's sort of bending the rules a little, but he didn't cheat. Now, this guy cheated. <laughs> this dude cheated. This dude cheated more than anybody I've ever seen. This dude cheated. Cheating. Accidentally. That word is doing some heavy lifting. This dude Drink. was cheating. Oh, cheating ass. This is the exact Four. same as the firefighter Completing using steroids dilemma. As YouTube has not heard this one. YouTube audience, I have a question for you. We talk about this a lot on the Twitch stream. It comes up like every single stream. Is it ethical for firefighters to use steroids? Leave your take in the comments below. They're saving lives, right? See, the problem is everybody says yes. There's no dissenting opinions. Leave your comment below saying no and why. I live in an echo chamber. Everybody just repeats the same thing back to me, you know? Who gained a lot of unwanted attention when his speedruns seemed to just be too lucky. I would not call his attention unwanted, just to be clear. That's some wanted attention, you know? 
Dream admitted that the game was accidentally modded from previous games he had played. Whoopsie! Which affected the drop rates of... Uh-oh. Oopsie daisy. I cheated. Right, <laughs> and Twitch okay. has a hard policy on any kind of tampering. What? Even when it's really funny. In a comical moment, Mr. Golds finishes bragging about his skill in Call of Duty oh, Warzone, no. only to realize his cheat software has been visible on stream. The this is why it's so important to have multiple monitors. You guys have no idea what's going on over here. On this other monitor, I could be showing anything. I could get banned for half of the stuff over here, but you will never see it. How do you fuck up that bad? Brother, I, I feel like people are not sympathetic to the woes of youtubers i have leaked dms i've leaked my address i've leaked a lot of shit by accident it is so easy to do you guys see my whole desktop it is very easy to do i i will say i've thought about <laughs> how do i put this in a way <laughs> i i the thought has crossed my mind of cheating in games for content because i thought it'd be very funny not in, like, ranked games or anything. But, you know, like, what if one night I was just like, I'm gonna try Fortnite. I've never played it before. And then I'm just fucking amazing at it. I think it'd be kind of funny. By the way, listen to Watch Mojo. Hit that subscription button. Please. You have the time. I'm taking a break right now. I'll give you five seconds. Done. Time to CSGO home. <laughs> Miss Good Q one. Gemini. CSGO to the polls. Mid. If you unashamedly Wait, tout your talent while using cheats, it's I just saw like the you're boxes. inviting car- And that's exactly what <laughs> Miss Q Gemini unfortunately <laughs> experienced. She proceeds to deny any knowledge of the cheats and passes the blame to her friend for installing them, despite having activated them mid-broadcast <laughs> for everyone to see. She turned them on? No way she showed her turning them on. No way. Dude, people are just walking around with their health bars out behind walls. That's so funny. I will say it's one of my guilty pleasures watching meltdowns in real time. I love it so much. Seriously, I don't know why. Just like when something happens on stream and the person doesn't just end stream, doesn't just leave, but they like try to like, what's my angle? How do I get out of this? I think that was the appeal of Among Us. Because you get to see people have a meltdown, but at the end of it, you could still watch them and not feel bad. Now that I've watched this video, I have decided that cheating is based. Kind of. In half of these instances, it was very funny. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I am only, like, I'm half joking. I'm half joking when I say cheating is okay if it's funny. I really think it is. Because I feel like if you're in an unranked game, who gives a shit? You're just going to go into another game, you know? Twitch is updating the toss to including only if it's for the funnies. And remember, comedy is subjective. So, you know, just say, I, I thought it was good, you know? It was just a bad bit, you know? Coney endorses cheating on marriage since it's not ranked. No, marriage is ranked. I have a score of six years, five years currently. I'm going for six. I was in a relationship for ten years before I got married, and then I prestiged. Those are pussy numbers. Okay, how old are you? Huh? How old do you have to be that 16 years with somebody is pussy numbers? Come on. It's a long ass time. Uh, next up, this is totally different, but I want to prove a point, okay? 20 games that aged poorly. Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2. It'll happen. It'll happen. Half-Life 2 sucks. You can't say this one. You can't say this one on Twitter. You'll get beat up. You'll get in so much trouble. Honestly, Sonic Adventure was never good. You just were a kid. You know that. Team Fortress Classic. Well, yeah. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's brutal. Games, but where Half-Life and Portal are largely single player, Team Fortress 2 still has a very Oh, I thought he was going to say something good about Half-Life and I was going to close the video. Yeah, this one's obvious. I don't Engine, yeah, yeah, skip skip. Number 19, Mortal Kombat. How? Is this just old game bad? Bro, this is just old game bad. Never mind. All right, we're going to do we're going to do a little we're going to do a little something that we do on the on the Coney stream. Are you ready? We're going to do something called a content pivot, okay? When the content sucks, you can pivot into a different vertical. And this is this is a highly technical maneuver to 
pivot the content into something else. Ready? Pivot with me. We're going to turn it and find out the top 10 worst things that happened to Tom from Tom and Jerry. He suffered so much grief. Welcome to Washington. I want to know what the Today worst thing that happened. I'm sure he's dead. He's died so many fucking times. Tom. We're going to pivot on over to animal abuse. Watching a cartoon character die. What do you think is the worst thing that has happened to Tom? Let us know in the comments. That's a very funny call to action. What do you think is the worst thing that's happened to this ant? By the way, this will be number one. This will be number one. Tom dies. Getting shrunk down. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Mouse. To keep Jerry away that's from not his that milk, bad. Tom I just watched his teeth get shattered. The, mouse. the prey becomes the hunter. Since the potion's <laughs> effects are temporary, the power He's not even fluctuating. that much bigger. He's only slightly bigger than before. He's still a mouse. I beat him up. As a normal mouse, though, Jerry flattens Tom's tail into a waffle. Jerry yeah, that's worse. A Tom only becomes smaller. By the short's conclusion, he's the size oh, of that's an insect, cute. and Jerry has a fly swatter on hand. But he's cute, though. I would say that's Number a good nine, ending. Being mistreated by his owners. Various. Abuse? Tom's got almost <laughs> all of them would have gotten oh, a call man. from PETA. Hitting a cat with a broom is just cruel, and shooting at him is next level. <laughs> I'm glad someone said it. Thank you, Watch Mojo. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody had to say it. Don't shoot your cat. Woo. Yeah, glad we got that out of the way. Now we know where Watch Mojo stands. The most short tempered would have to be DeWitt Clinton Clubber. Introduced Who? to the series during the Gene Deitch era, Clubber is guilty of beating Jesus Tom with Christ. a frying pan. Clubber was apparently too mean spirited even for this franchise. Yeah. As he was removed after only three cartoons. He went to jail. The cops came. I bet Jerry called the cops. Jerry's like, I can't. <laughs> I don't like this cat, dude, but this owner is unhinged. This guy needs help. This, this Tom Cat guy is an asshole, but this owner's got to go. Getting upstaged by Jerry. That's not worse. That's not worse. Just Emotional pain straight, is it can be worse and sometimes. Play the piano. Emotional pain can be worse. He got shot at? Yeah, but he didn't get shot. I think he avoided all that. Interrupted by Jerry, who is sleeping inside the piano. Jerry flattens Tom's fingers in one instance and tries snapping them off with scissors in another. Jesus. By the way, I, I don't know if you guys get the same enjoyment that I do out of these lists. I fucking love that the narrator has to basically summarize a Tom and Jerry cartoon for a list like this. Like the guy reading it has to like present this as factual information. I love this so much. He, like, I'm sure he's a college graduate, you know? He didn't sign up for this. Jerry has to call his cousin, who's fittingly named Muscles Mouse. That's Jerry. Jerry put on a different shirt. What the fuck? Although he's almost identical to Jerry, Muscles has a wider oh, vocabulary shit. and an inflatable fist. Oh, While fuck! While Tom attempts to defend his territory with a kill him. of cats, Muscles is Get a him, one boys. mouse army not to be reckoned with. You gotta right, kill that mouse. Dude, kill- the mouse is an SCP. You gotta kill him. He's not of this world. Getting blown up with a rocket. The Yankee Doodle Mouse. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Produced during World War II. That's pretty bad. I don't know. I feel like if this is six... Way worse stuff has to have happened. He died. Clashes with Spike. This isn't as bad. Well, what does Various. Spike do? Does Spike... Being a he's cat he's not gonna eat him, right? Like... When pushed to his limits, though, Spike lets the beast off his leash. Since his <laughs> debut, beast. Spike has tossed Tom Top into the washing machine, Spike turned him into a mode. musical instrument, and skinned and him alive. Wait, what? He did what? He's not skinned. He shaved him. He's just naked. Yeah, that's a shave. What the fuck? Okay. I was gonna say, Jesus. Number four, Tom dies with hiccups. Mouse trouble. <laughs> I... I don't know about this one. Does this happen in real life? Can you... <laughs> now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. This is like a new phobia for me. It's like the elevator, you know? Where'd he get all this? Tom's owner is, is an arms dealer. Acme? Yeah. 
that raises up. many Jerry other questions. A, he didn't die from the, the hiccups. That's shorts that ends up with a confirmed, I got watch not Mojo permanent bait. death. Stupid. At least Tom goes to cat heaven. Although we wouldn't be surprised if he got turned away at the Golden Gates. Uh oh! Number Foreshadowing? Three. Yes, going let's to go. Hell and back again. <laughs> He's going Heavenly to hell. Close. Tom goes Speaking to hell. Which, but hell has a spot wide open for him. Oh God! A lot of you guys are younger, right? I don't think you realize how common this was. In cartoons, people went to hell all the time. There, I, I've talked about this on stream before, but there was a ride at Disney, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and at the end, you get hit by a train and die and go to hell, and then you get off the ride. That's literally the end. Number two, the guillotine. The two <laughs> Musketeers. Jesus Christ. Strangely enough, it's what we don't see that makes Tom's supposed fate so disturbing. It's a darkly funny yet unsettling ending that's only what made the more fuck? shocking by Nibbles' nonchalant such as war line. What the fuck? Wait, what? That's so grim. Look at this shot. This is so ominous. Like the colors are darker and just, there's shadows everywhere. This feels so wasteful for a cat. It's only made more shocking that's way by worse than seeing his head fall off. Listen, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's worse than seeing his head fall off. I think that would be worse. Seeing Tom's head get removed from his body and blood spurt out. I think that might be a little worse, but it's close. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable Is the teeth thing here? Shredded by a lawnmower. That's cat way worse. This should be in the top 10. Cutout. This should be in the top 10. For sure. Ah! Oh, he's okay. Oh god, he eats bees? He eats bees? <laughs> yeah, watch Mojo OC. <laughs> Rockhead. What? Where did he, where, wait, where did he go? Where did he... <laughs> <laughs> he went back to hell. Don't think that's in the top ten. It's train tracks, right? Train tracks. It's train tracks. It's train tracks. It's train tracks. Train tracks. Train tracks. Train tracks. Train fifty gifts up. Fifty gifts. Fifty gifts for train tracks. Fifty gifts. Fifty gifts. Throw it up. It's train tracks. I know it is. Train tracks. Number one. The train tracks. Blue cat blues. <laughs> Train For tracks! Pay, pay up, pay up, it's pay, a up pay up, fatal pay up, breaks his heart pay up, pay up, pay up, I didn't, sc I swear to God, I didn't screen it, I swear to God, I didn't watch it, I swear to you, I did, come on, pay up, I got train tracks, but Tom can't compete with the wealthy bush, oh, when the jewelry failed to impress her, he signed away his life to buy a car, 312 monthly payments at 112% interest, that's so much money! Tom finally gives up when he sees that his love has gotten hitched. Man. Sitting on the train tracks, the depressed cat waits for the inevitable to happen. That's sad. That's that's just sad, dude. It didn't it, it has the train, by the way. You can hear the train at the very end where it goes honk honk. Oh, hold on. Wait. YouTube, this one's for you. I'm not watching the whole thing. Who's number one? Who's number one? Who's number one? Who's number one? Wait, it might not. This was July 14th. What? I gotta tell Panda. Yo, I gotta tell Panda. This is a new movie. Reaction content. Top three are Sonic, Sonic, Cloud, Steve. Boom. Top three in that order. One, two, three. Sonic, Cloud, Steve. Number seven, Terry Bogart. Not Terry, dude. Who gives a shit? Is Not me. Number six is, is Joker. Number, Number six, six is Joker. Joker. Let's go! Got one. Got one. Okay. All right. Number five is Hero. Number five Number is Hero. Number five. Steve. Too low. Too fucking low. That's too low for Steve. That's insane. Number four is Hero. Number, Number four. Cloud Strike. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Top three. Sonic Banjo Snake. Sonic Banjo Snake. Sonic Banjo Snake. Number three. Solid Snake. Dude. This is a I think I got it. Near the top. I think I got Larry. it. I think I got it. I think I got it's it. Rocky. Yep. Kazooie. Yep. 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 And now they're. The yep. 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 Just, and Sega had. Yeah, each I know other these lists. Enemies. I know these lists, baby. You know I know these lists. He's so good. He's so talented at Watch Mojo. This list is trash. It's on the internet. <laughs> what do you mean? If it's on the internet, it, it, it it's not like you could just publish anything.
It has to go through the jurisdiction. 